Hi there YouTube, here's an update of my dragon fruit. Uh, I decided to use uh, more recycled tires to be the top structural support of my plant. This you can buy from uh, tire recyclers for about maybe uh, $4 to $5 each. Uh, if you have friends that are bikers, you can just ask them for the, their tires. These are the thinners, thinner uh, tires that uh, are on the motorcycles. I didn't use the thicker ones, the wide ones from the motorcycles. Instead, I used this one here. So, this is what I did. And here's how I do it. See, I have uh, three rebars on uh, from the posts. What I do is just uh, mark uh, each rebar where they're located and mark it where it coincides with the rebar. I'll be drilling a hole there eventually later on. Just mark it. Just go around and mark it. And here's another one. I usually mark a, a put a mark where I so uh, on one one uh, rebar so that uh, you can tell where you're gonna put that hole so they all line up. And here's the finish product here that I already drilled holes in and put the rebar through the holes right here so there's four of them that I finished right there so I'll have the I'll be training the plants the vines to go up through that uh, the tire hole and to make it look like a tree afterwards and by the way here's an update of the flower that uh, uh, from one of the cuttings uh, it finally fall off because uh, uh, it wasn't able to support the, the flower it takes a lot of energy to support flower or fruit so we just this one here it wasn't able to uh, support it and it decided to just drop off the flower it did a did a valiant effort in uh, growing the flower but I guess yeah you won't be able to support it here's a uh, an update of the dragon fruit this one had flower too but it also dropped it right here instead uh, decided to just grow the, the the plant itself well here's that update of my uh, dragon fruit farming backyard farming so hope you guys enjoy the video thank you